Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and cut this piece out around the gas area here so we can get that opened up. I'm kind of got it stretched across and I'm doing it as the one man show here with my foot. But I know from feeling with my hand how far that gas area comes out. I know my pipe's right here at the top of it and I gotta get it back to back in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this outer layer out. Got the slice going there. We'll cut out around the top of it too. We'll get the same thing going on over here, up to about here, because I can feel it bending down. And I'm going to slice into this guy. And we're actually going to keep coming up and around until we get up over the top of this properly. The nice thing is it kind of form fits across there. And there we go. Just got to get through the insulation that's in here and on down the side. There's that guy. We'll have to put a little tape in here to hold all that together and probably around the base. There we are up and around the pilot. And then I'm going to take this side off. You just take some nice slices through that fiberglass insulation. And you, here I am not wearing gloves, but you can wear gloves if that bothers you. You can wear a, you know, a respirator if you want to keep this kind of stuff from breathing in any of those fibers. But it's pretty small. It's not like you're insulating an attic here. we got a pretty small piece. So I'm just cutting this guy up here by hand. Pretty much once it's the plastic is cut, you can kind of tear it back here. You need a little more cut on that guy. And we'll neaten that all up. And that's the piece that's coming out around the hot water tank itself. And you can see where our pipe comes out now. We're kind of clear on that guy. So we'll be able to tape all this together, get everything nice and cleaned up in there, keeping it away from our gas line overall and we'll pull up on that a little bit here and we tape it all together all right we got our front cut out we got a little work to tape some of this down and so forth and get everything fitted here and get our height right but the first thing we want to do we got our upper tape we're going to put two more on here and then we're going to seal this whole seam so i'm kind of holding this with one hand i'm going to peel this guy back i'm going to put one right in the middle here because we're still going to come down the seam and then we'll get we'll pull our height up and down to get it just where we want it. And then I got one more down here ready to go that we'll use to bring the bottom together. If I don't stick it to myself. <laughs> All right. Now I'm just gonna pull this base together here, and we'll put a last one on the bottom so we're ready to go. So it's basically holding it so we can seam the rest of it together and then we're going to pull up on the front yet here as we go. I'm going to pop this one right in here. And we've got that together. Like I said, it moves up and down as we're working. We're going to put more tape onto this base and bring that all together. All right, now what I'm going to do up here, and I started to do this, is when I pull this plastic up, it's going way up in here. I've got a lot of excess. I want to leave myself a nice surface to get a nice tape job up on the top when we lift this all up. And I'm going to give this thing a little bit of extra room to, let, to allow it to come up. But I'm going to take a strip off of here. It's real easy to cut. Just so that I know I'm getting a nice, I got a nice area to tape this thing on the top without all this excess plastic sitting in here. So let's pull some of that off of here. Nice and easily going around the back. Got a little bit of excess sitting there. All right. Woo. All right, so what that's allowing us to do is when we pull this up, we get our heights right everywhere. I can come up over this edge, I can tape this down, and I'm in no risk of putting it, you know, up against the vents and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and tape that upper side. I'm not going to take you through it all in the filming because it would be kind of boring. But we'll go ahead and tape this in. All right, as we look here, 
we have our gas pipe taped in and around that. We are cut out around our whole pilot system. So this is our gas valve to the gas hot water tank coming in. And your pilot's actually back in under the middle of the tank. But this is the access panel that comes off that allows you to get to that. This is your temperature control valve. So we're nice and clean around that. You just got a couple pieces keeping it down on the sides. We do want to keep it away from this area so this little opening won't mean a whole lot there. And we are good to go. All right, so that's a wrap, literally, on our gas hot water heater here. We've added an R11 insulation around the outside of the tank. Why is that a big deal? You might be saying, hey, you're in the basement, it doesn't feel that cold, and you're wearing a short sleeve shirt. Well, the bottom line is, it's, let's say it's 70 degrees down here. The water in this tank's 120. That's a 50 degree temperature difference between the two. So it is pretty dramatic in the hot water tank. It does put a lot of its heat back out into the uh, atmosphere. It's kind of superheating it. And if you had a solar hot water tank, all those sorts of things, you'd be doing something very similar. On future videos, we're gonna insulate the piping because this piping coming out of here is actually very warm to the touch. This is another area in your copper piping where you're also losing heat from your hot water tank. So thanks for visiting Johnny on Energy and keep an eye out for more how-to videos on saving home energy in your home.